Thursday, the 27th of July, it's a hot one, and I've got a private pick, I think. I think I'm going to be the first one in here. So let's see what is there. I'm going up to Newcastle. I'm stoked for this one. Hopefully it's as good as the thing. Okay, it's not, it's not if a... If you want to go, if you want, we can take you to the storage unit. All yeah, I'll just show you a picture in a bit yeah, okay. of the... Uh, you're talking about this one. That one. No, I've seen this picture. Yeah, yeah that guy right no, there. He wasn't story? in there. I that one again, right? yeah. Then you had four typewriters. Yeah. I mean, I have them in order of the years. The 90s are on Yeah, the you'll sell those easy. Um, I... No colors. It's broke. It's broke. The oven is not working so well. So. There's cool stuff here. You got a lot of cool stuff. Yeah. These used to be big. I bought a whole collection of irons yeah. because they were weird looking, but they just, wow, you got some yeah, stuff. Um, yeah, that one type, right? Who has the postcards? Are you keeping them or are you? She's there at her house. She's oh, okay. Bring them back over. Yeah, I'm interested in postcards, they definitely. Really old too. I want this. Take my time. The vintage stuff. He must have been a plumber. He's a plumber. I want that. Lucky Tom. This is machinist tools. Oh, what a great bar. Yeah, the bar and the pool table, unfortunately, Dad actually built going to have to go with the um, pool table. I mean, I plates. Did. I pulled one plate down so you can see like an idea of what those plates are up there. This, this place was top to bottom. All you had was a little pathway. She ordered everything. Well, that's the best houses to go in. <laughs> I get what I want, though. There's some stuff missing. There is some stuff missing. That's a shame. What was this? That's an Eagle Planner. They're all Hummels, and I'm interested at the right price. It's Hummels plates in their boxes. I don't, I might take them. I'm not quite sure. What the hell is that stuff? More junk. That's an original slip and slide. I'm gonna, I want that Pepsi. And I want that and something. What's, what's this? Yeah. Grand time here. Am I missing anything? Slot machine, no. Look, home of the peacock. Holland mold, how about that? That's the people to make the ceramic Christmas trees. I wonder if they had one of those. Old bottles. I have that. Fish tanks. Albums aren't anything. It is hot. Cannon jars. Ice makers. I don't want the irons. Even though I should take that small one. I want to take that small one. All right, here's the final. I don't think I want that or that. Final sweep. The final countdown. Let's see if I can find these. These are roached where I would have taken them. I'm looking, people. But I don't see anything. Old toys. Nothing of interest, though. Look at that guy. Teddy Ruxpin. Nothing I'm seeing of interest. Look at this. It's great to come in these old places. This is worthy. This is cool. I've never seen anything like it. It's an old battery and it's in perfect shape and a cake plate. Just pulled this out. This is hams. It's fresh with mice turds. There's old bud water. Things about these is, you know, you leave something behind, but you can't take it all. But I've done pretty good today. There's something leaks. 
There's old 45s. I don't want to look in here. I didn't look in there. I see comic books. Through this stuff. Now I'm starting to find more stuff. There's stuff on top of stuff. Here's old creepy dollies. They're they're roached. Always find the old dollies. That was fun. I got some interesting stuff. Uh, I spent 75 hours in the place. And I think it was 75 hours well spent. I got some cool things. I found them in an old uh, wallet old purse that was full of stuff and it had false teeth in there one of them was gold that was pretty cool so karma you can't pocket stuff ever and don't ever think you can because god will get you in the long run let's go home and i'll show you Lock what i got at the house the only thing i brought up so far is that cake plate why because it's a cake plate easy sell so probably 20 30 bucks sitting right there already that i paid a dollar for let's show you the loot that I just picked out of that house. It's later in the day and it's hotter than hell, so still. There's no special order going on here. These are my dollar items. So I like these green planners. They're old. This has crazing. I don't know who makes them. They do not have a name, but I'm sure if I Google goggle it, I can find out real quick who they are. But this is the bigger of the bunch, as you can tell. People like this stuff, you just gotta find out who wants it this is some kind of old um stoneware has a one on it it's chip free i don't know how old it is i don't know what's inside of there there's a gooby in there it's not moving so it's either who knows what it is but we shall remove it properly this is missing its top but stoneware i'm going to grab i think that has value i didn't google it yet this stuff I actually like. It's easy sell. Got like five pieces of this. People like this for some reason. What's that called? The Me Mel Made or something. Mel Made product. It's something. Probably they shot some nuclear crap into it in the 50s and said it would give you cancer. So they stopped making it. But this stuff, people like this. So I'm grabbing it. Every piece that I found in there, there's the lid to it. I guess that, that could be considered a cream or sugar. I might be wrong. Or does this go here? Oh, there you go. Bang, bang. So there it is. This is cool. But what's really cool, check this out. Why did I get it? Why not? It's old. You ever seen one? No. Me? No. So I grabbed it. Another one of those things that you just bring home. It's probably worth up to 20 bucks. They get 10 for it. That's cool, too. It's awesome, dude. It's probably the 50s. There's more of the loot. I'll be bringing it in as we speak. Always the sign of a good pick is mice turds. You know that you're into something. I never picked any with cockroaches. I get the uh, silverfish and mice turds. Very easy score. Pay five hours for it, and I'll do it all day long. I don't know if this one's been fired. This is your Coleman. I don't know if this is Canadian one or not. I, I don't have one of these. Let me get this out. That is a 290. And it's from 1984. I like it. I don't think it's been... Look at it, Look at the shape. I mean, has it been fired? If it has, maybe once. There's no fuel in there. So it's called the 290-700. That's a $40, $50 lantern. Easy. This is a, not, is a nice box of goodies. That, I guarantee, glows. I didn't see any damage on it. I didn't look at it real good, and I'm hoping there's no damage on it. I like selling uh, uranium glass. This is cool. Is that plastic, though? That's the thing. I think that's plastic. So that might be a bobblehead, but who cares? It's got a lighter. Who, want, who doesn't want the American Eagle planner for nothing? Who knows who makes this? But again, if you Google lens this crap, you can usually find out who made that. Patriotic. This would have been a fantastic. This is, I bet you right now, this is made in Hong Kong. So this is probably 1970, I'm going to say. It had fuel barrels in it. They're missing. I still think that's $20, $30 a piece. Even I can get that paint off. I guarantee I can. That's an early Hess. I couldn't find the front of it because that would have been a hundred hour Hess truck. 70s Dingles Christmas Cowers or something like that. And they're called, uh, they're made in 78 by that uh, Jasco or something like that. 
1978. Is that Jasco? I don't know. But you know something? Made in Taiwan. You know, I just got them. I know this. some of the stuff is okay. It's just thrown in, so why not? This is a nice box, I think, too. Here's more of that, that stuff. That cleans up. I mean, you can't break it. So that's a piece of it, I'm sure. But we got a little bit of blue, whoever's trying to put their thing together. I don't know what this is, but it's old. So I threw it in there. It's, I don't even know what the hell it's made out of. It's not cast iron. Um, I'm going to grab these every time I see them, even if they don't work. That's a starlight transistor. I just got it. You know, it's probably fried, but it's worth a shot. No brainer here. I hope it's not broke anywhere. That's your banana holder, moon and stars. That guaranteed glows down there because it's got the orange along with it. I think that's a $20 piece of glass. I like moon and stars. I grab it every time. Here, just throw it in there. That's a paperweight. As you can see, don't know who makes it. It's got your fish swimming around. Somebody took time. Maybe five to ten bucks, maybe more. Another interesting piece of glass. This is your cut Czechoslovakian left hand special. No, I'm kidding about that. I don't know actually who makes this, but it's red and it's a buck or less than a buck. You so know, and I know this would have been a banging toy. And I still think it has value, even though it's grody. And that's okay. Let it be grody. It's Pepsi, it's not Coke. Coke is more, you know widespread this is probably more desirable people to refinish these are going to want it even with that broken windshield the guy couldn't see out one morning so he broke the windshield you know missing the pepsi logo in the front though i don't know who makes this but i still think it's a 20 hour piece of press steel truck i'm sure it's tonka or buddy l i had to grab it though I believe this is too far gone this is the hams beer thing i think the tree line is just too i think it's too far gone it's a shame it's plastic i didn't pay much uh i paid a total of uh 75 hours for everything so i don't think i lost there this is another one another another deal here i think that hooks to this uh we'll clean it up and see what can happen it's plastic, but that one might clean up. That one right there. I don't think the hams has got any help. Hope. Here's my my sucker buy. I always do this, even though it's a buck. I don't know why, but such great shape. It's travel iron. It's a little guy. Maybe it's worth five or ten bucks. It's the Perlick, made in England, travel iron, something like that. Pre elect pre, pre. I don't know. I, I'm slaughtering it. Here's something interesting. This is for you jewelry nuts. I take, paid five for the whole thing. This has, who knows? This may go to jewelry jar, but it's in here. Look at the butterfly. There's brooches. Nothing has names, I don't think. If I see a name, I will get back to you. Gorgeous. Lots of rings. Lots of rings. I have to really go through this. State of Delaware. I haven't seen anything signed yet. I didn't really examine this. I just said, let me take a shot at the whole damn thing. It can go for a jewelry jar, you know. Let me have something signed. No, this this nice piece is a turquoise. Who knows? It's cool looking. Look at all this. All this 14 karat gold rings. Everybody's going to be going crazy. You imagine that, though, if these were. If one of them was, it'd be crazy. But I don't think any of them are. Look at that. That's the... Uh, the Mississippi Star Stone with the 14 carat surround sound. What a ring. Now, who knows? I'm going to look through this, and if I find something, I'll be, you'll hear me. This is probably sterling. So, I probably did get some sterling out of the deal. But all these, there you go again. That's the mode ring. What mode am I in right now? Sweat running off my head happy. I started getting into all this jewelry. That I, I think there's another. This has... So, this has something on there. So this may actually be gold. I'm going to have to really look at that. That's interesting. And if that's gold, then it's gold, you know? If it's gold, it's gold. Look at this one. Uh, Backstream Pearls. 
Very rare from the uh, under rock oyster. Haven't really can't tell, but like I said, five for the whole shot. Would you do it? Yeah, I think a lot of people would. This one here might have been on, uh, who knows? I don't even know what the hell that thing is. I think it's some kind of doodad. I think it's a doodad. But that's that's my uh, bag of jewelry. The typical bud vase. Uh, that's probably, I don't know, whatever it is. It's 12 inch or probably, maybe bigger. Those ones seem to go 15, 30 bucks. That's your, what a depression glass. No, Carnival. Dollar a piece for stars and bars, fairy lamps. What do you say? I say, let's grab both of them. So I did. I would say anywhere from, what do you think? 15 to 25 hours a piece. They're red, but they, they've got that, they've got that, whatever that, that put on. They're not a solid red piece. You know, they can flake back to a clear color. So I don't understand what that stuff's called. You glass people will know, but they're still desirable. So I took them. Damage free, they're just dirty. I'll wash them, stick them online. I've sold them. I've sold the amber ones, and I'm sure the red ones will go too. Last couple things. Well, I'll stick this on. This has uh, interest. This old butt wiper beer. Um, clean her up. Put her, I don't know what this did. I don't know how it went. I think you, I think you screw it on somehow. I think on the counter, and then it, you put your your little beers in there. This will clean up. It's probably fifteen bucks. It's old, probably from what the sixties. What would a pick be without? You know what? There it is. The Underwood. This is a nice one. It's a nice stinking. I'll clean this up. It works. The functions work. It's a hundred hour, maybe, maybe a little bit more. I haven't looked this one up because I don't have this one. It's a filthy son of a gun, but a good old blow job and she'll and and you know a little bit of squirt here and squirt there. And this thing is ready to rock. It's got the bells on the side. It's dirty. And it's got the doodads on this. These are open siders. Look at that thing. It's dirty, but I've had them dirty before. It's still in good shape. I like it. This one gets cleaned up, and we'll see where we go from yeah, there. a little bit time in nature. You know what that damn thing is. He dangerous. Look at him. Big. i got to watch being barefoot in the yard, because that thing hits you, it's going to knock you on Last out. piece I got out of the place. Well, I got it early on, but I don't see anything wrong with this. This might be my best piece of glass. Probably, it's got the... Uh, Whatever that's called, you know, applied to it. It's it's a nice piece of glass. I don't see any damage. Uh, I think it's the nicest piece of glass, but it might not be. But this is my pickup from a pre... It's an estate sale, I would say. They're going to be full-pledged tomorrow, so there'll be people running all through there. Uh, I got what I wanted out of there. Uh, I probably took should have took another round in there, but I didn't. But this ain't a bad loop pile for 75 hours. I think the Coleman Lantern and maybe the two Moon and Stars. It's e This is easily, I'm going to say, 250 to 400 hour table. Am I crazy? I got to look more at the jewelry, but I, I got a lot of 10, 20 hour pieces here. Cake plates sell quickly. Typewriters have value. Uh, pieces of this, piece of that. That hams is probably going to go in the trash. That's a shame on that. But other than that, this is some interesting stuff. Easily, easily, I think 250 What's your thoughts? Leave them in the comments. The heat of summer is hit, and uh, it's not stopping me. I just wiggle my way into places once in a blue moon, and this is the case where I got to wiggle my way in here before anybody else. Uh, they have another typewriter, and they have some postcards that they're supposed to send me uh, uh I had the chance at first, so we'll go from there. Unless I left them uh, kind of questioning. But, no, I think I was very fair with what I paid because uh, they accepted. They wanted it out of there, so there you go. This is my loot pile today. It's like a, uh, I would say it would be a good yard sale day. Not bad for an estate sale to be a good clean-out day, too. 
I have to look at really look at that jewelry, but there might be a couple banging pieces in there. And jewelry, as I learn, uh, is my future. I like little things that you can store thousands of pieces in very small areas. So, till next time, Harry Homestone saying this is my loot, and I'll tell you uh, later. Thanks a lot. Take care.